Coming in at number 10 is the Cape Buffaloes. The Cape Buffaloes, which number around 900,000 are known to be found in the Sub-Saharan Africa region, reportedly responsible for killing more hunters on the continent than any other creature, these behemoths, which can grow up to nearly 6 feet tall and weigh close to 2,000 pounds, circle and stalk their prey before charging at speeds of up to 35 miles per hour. However, if one, or its calf, is threatened or wounded, it becomes the incarnation of its nickname, the Black Death. They are a relatively mild species when left alone, preferring to travel in massive herds to graze in early morning and late afternoon hours or to gather around watering holes to stay hydrated. They're also known to continue charging if they're injured, and will not hesitate to attack moving vehicles. You don't want to mess with those horns. Number 9. The Cone Snail. They found in the warm waters of the tropics, the Caribbean Hawaii, and Indonesia, these beautiful creatures, instantly recognizable for their highly prized, brown and white marbled shells, can be seen in shallow depths closer to shore, near coral reefs and rock formations and beneath sandy shoals. But do not dare to touch the gastropods, which can be up to 6 inches long, their concealed, harpoon-like teeth contain a complex venom known as aconitoxin, making them one of the most poisonous species of snails. If you suffer the unlucky fate of becoming one of the handfuls of people ever stung, head to the hospital immediately, as there is no antivenom. The toxin stops nerve cells from communicating with one another, so the creature not only causes paralysis within moments but, given its nickname of cigarette snail, affords you about enough time to smoke one before you die. Do not mess with these creatures. Number 8. The Golden Poison Dart Frog. The poison dart is the name of a large, diverse group of brightly colored frogs that live mostly in northern South America, of which only a handful of species are particularly dangerous to humans. The most deadly golden poison darts, inhabits the small range of rainforests along Colombia's Pacific coast and grows to around 2 inches long, roughly the size of a paper clip. Its poison is called vitrochotoxin, which is so potent that there's enough in one frog to kill 10 grown men, and just 2 micrograms are enough to kill a single individual. But what makes the amphibian especially dangerous, is that its poison glands are located beneath its skin, meaning a mere touch will cause trouble. It's little wonder the indigenous Embera people have laced the tips of their blow darts used for hunting with the frog's toxin for centuries. Sadly, deforestation has landed the frog on several endangered lists, but even if you do have a rare sighting when hiking, don't go reaching for it. Number 7. The Box Jellyfish. Often found floating, or moving at speeds close to 5 miles per hour, in the Indo-Pacific waters north of Australia, these transparent, nearly invisible invertebrates are considered by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration to be the most venomous marine animal in the world. Their namesake cubic frames contain up to 15 tentacles at the corners, with each growing as long as 10 feet, all lined with thousands of stinging cells, known as nematocysts, which contain toxins that simultaneously attack the heart, nervous system, and skin cells. While antivenins do exist, the poison is so powerful that many of the hundreds of reported victims each year go into shock, drowning or dying of heart failure before reaching shore. Even if you are lucky enough to make it to the hospital and receive the antidote, survivors can sometimes experience considerable pain for weeks afterwards, and bear nasty scars from the creature's tentacles. Number 6. The Pufferfish. Pufferfish, also known as blowfish, is located in tropical seas around the globe, especially around Japan, China, and the Philippines. Though they're the second most poisonous vertebrate on the planet, after the golden arrow dart frog, they're arguably more dangerous as their neurotoxin, called tetrodotoxin, is found in the fish's skin, muscle tissue, liver, kidneys, and gonads, all of which must be avoided when preparing it for human consumption. Indeed, while wild encounters are certainly dangerous, the risk of death from a pufferfish increases when eating it in countries such as Japan, where it is considered a delicacy is known as fugu and can only be prepared by trained, licensed chefs. Even then, accidental deaths from ingestion occur several times every year. The tetrodotoxin is up to 1,200 times more poisonous than cyanide and can cause deadening of the tongue and lips, dizziness, vomiting, arrhythmia, difficulty breathing, muscle paralysis, 
and if left untreated, death. Number 5. The Black Mamba. Though species such as the Boomslang or King Cobra are dangerous as a result of their poisons, the Black Mamba is especially deadly due to its speed. Found in the savannas and rocky areas of southern and eastern Africa, the species, which can grow up to 14 feet long, is the fastest of all snakes, slithering at speeds of up to 12.5 miles per hour, which makes escaping one in remote areas that much more difficult. Thankfully, black mambas usually only strike when threatened, but when they do, they'll bite repeatedly, delivering enough venom, a blend of neuro and cardiotoxins, in a single bite to kill 10 people. And if one doesn't receive the correlative antivenin within 20 minutes, the bites are almost 100% fatal. 4. Saltwater Crocodile Florida's alligators may be scary, but they have nothing on their cousins, the fearsome crocodiles, which are more short-tempered, easily provoked, and aggressive towards anything that crosses their paths. Of all the species in the world, the largest, and most dangerous, is the saltwater crocodile, which inhabits the Indo-Pacific region ranging from parts of India and Vietnam all the way to Northern Australia. These ferocious killers can grow up to 23 feet in length and weigh more than 2,000 pounds, plus they are known to kill hundreds each year, in fact, the entire crocodile population is responsible for more annual human fatalities than sharks. Saltwater crocodiles are especially deadly as they're excellent swimmers in both salt and freshwater, yes, the name is confusing, and can strike quickly with a bite delivering 3,700 pounds per inch two of pressure, rivaling that of the Tyrannosaurus rex. If that's not enough to scare you, let's put it in perspective. Humans chomp into a well-done steak at around 200 pounds per inch two of pressure, a mere 5% of the strength of a salty's jaw. 3. Setsi Fly Often regarded as the world's most dangerous fly, the tsetse, a small speck of an insect that measures up to 0.7 inches, or about the same size as the average housefly, is commonly found in sub-Saharan countries, especially those in the center of the continent including the Sudans, the Democratic Republic of the Congo and Angola. While the flies themselves are nasty blood-sucking bugs that usually feed during the peak warm hours, their true terror lies in the protozoan parasites they spread known as trypanosomes. These microscopic pathogens are the causative agent of African sleeping sickness, a disease marked by neurological and meningoencephalitis symptoms including behavioral changes and poor coordination, as well as the disturbances to the sleep cycle that gives the illness its name. If left untreated, it can lead to death. While there are no vaccines or medications available to prevent infection, methods of protection include opting for neutral colored clothing, that Setsi is attracted to bright and dark shades, especially blue, avoiding bushes during the day, and wearing permethrin-treated gear in more remote areas. 2. Mosquito Clocking in at just 0.1 inches at its smallest, the common mosquito, even tinier than the Tsetse fly, ranks as the second most dangerous on our list due to the sheer amount of deaths each year attributed to the various pathogens carried by several of the more than 3,000 species around the world. Found in every region on the planet except Antarctica, the irritating insects, particularly those from the genera Aedes, Anopheles, and Culex, are the primary vectors of diseases such as malaria, chikungunya, encephalitis, elephantiasis, yellow fever, dengue fever, West Nile virus and Zika, which collectively afflict an estimated 700 million people and kill roughly 725,000 per year. As the World Health Organization notes, more than half of the human population is currently at risk from mosquito-borne diseases. Given that the pests are attracted to our body temperatures and the CO2 we exhale, our best tools to prevent infection lie in the usage of insect repellents that are high in active ingredients such as DEET and picaridin. Coming in at number 1. Is the humans. Surprised? Well, we're animals too, after all. And seeing as we've been killing each other for 10,000 years, with the total deaths resulting from war alone estimated at between 150 million and 1 billion, it's a no-brainer that we top the list. Though we are said to be living in the most peaceful period now than at any other time in our history, we still assault each other with incredibly high rates of senseless brutality, from gun violence in cities such as Munich and Florida's Fort Lauderdale to terrorist attacks around the globe. We're dangerous to other animals, too. Think global warming and the destruction of forests and coral reefs. 
Given the threat, we pose to countless other creatures, and the fact that we often act irrationally and have the capacity to annihilate our entire planet with a host of horrifying weapons, we are easily number one on the list of the most dangerous animals in the world. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button, and subscribe for more videos.